Hello my dear Libras and welcome. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel Ivana Tero. This is new weekly love tarot reading for your sign for women and men born under the sign of Libra. December 3rd until December 9th, 2018. So my dear Libras, let's get started. Let me start with spiritual message for your sign for the new upcoming week. Cleanse. Your body, mind and your soul are urging you to take time out for some much needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean your house or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional and physical cleansing. So, my dear Libras, this is your first message. Now, I will reshuffle my cards and surprise, surprise! Celtic Cross. So, let me start with the very first tarot card, which represents your present. The very first tarot card is... Wow! Oh, oh! Major Arcana, the lovers. So, guys, this is your present. Obviously, so many of you are happy because this is marriage. This is long-term relationship. This is someone who is in love with you. This is sign of a mutual love. This is deep connection, obviously, with someone. This is, guys, your present. And if this is your present... Hopefully, you know, your future will be exactly the same one. Love and more love. But let me see another tarot card which basically is challenging you. Let me see what is the challenge in your life. Two of Swords. Hmm. Two of Swords is like expecting something to happen. And something is delayed. Something is unclear. Maybe still you are not 100% sure that this is love of your life. Probably it is. But I don't know how come you don't see that, you know. Or maybe you are afraid that your current love partner don't see you in a such a way. Okay. Girl, listen to me. Sleep on it. As far as I can see, everything is just fine. So... Try not to spoil or destroy what you have already. If you're single, you have someone on your mind and this person will, so will soon enter into your life. Not maybe right away, but this person is coming. Now let me see something about your past. Maybe you are still focused on your past. If you are, let me see what this might be. Major Arcana Strength. Well, this could be Leo. Leo on your mind. But in general, Major Arcana Strength basically talks about willpower. Maybe you are in a relationship with someone and, you know, could be another person on your mind still. So you need to use your inner strength and you finally need to let go this person from your life. Of course, this is so much easier for me to say, you know. But with the, with the tarot card of two of swords, maybe you have like two people on your mind. One is real next to you and the other one probably is in your memory. Next tarot card. Let me see your future. Love future. Wow. King of swords. So either this is you already dealing with fellow sign Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. Or maybe this King of Swords is coming in your life, you see? But because this is also your tarot card, also this means that your future belongs to you and your future final decision will be on you. So be very, very clear before you make any kind of move or decision. Everything depends only on you. I can see clearly someone is interested into you. And because of this tarot card, 
this could be really Leo. I mean, sometimes this could be Aries or Sage, but probably Leo still interested into you. Okay, let us move on. Your strength or what is your goal now? Three of Cups, festivity, celebration, having a good time with your friends and above all with your family. But I really need to add some Libras are caught in secret love relationship. And I can see some rumors, you know, spreading around you. You cannot, uh, you cannot cut rumors off. I don't know if you, if you care or maybe if you do not care, but some rumors are spreading behind your back. And also, I do not know if this is the case with you, but probably it is the case, at least with some Libras. So, Three of Cups also is saying that you need more love and more stability. This ability probably will come, but we have so many other cards which are coming now. Let me see what is at the core of your situation. Two of Wands. Hmm. At the core. This is also Tarot card of near future. Huh. Two of Wands. Two of Swords and Two of Wands. Before you make your move, be very sure that this is exactly what you want to do and where you want to be. Because this is making a decision. This is also making a decision. This is could be two person on your mind. And I saw that already in here. So be very, very careful what you are doing. Two of Swords, Two of Wands is the card of alternative. So there is a new plan, uh, but also could be a new approach, the way how you will approach to current uh, situation. With the Two of Swords, something is unclear, probably you do not want to wait anymore, and this is you, you know, setting, you know, the date, you know, I will wait, or, you know, until end of December, but I ain't gonna wait on you no more. Something happened three months ago between you and this person or if you're still single probably you met this person three months ago and this person uh, will enter into your life once again this could be um, this could be some um, friendship uh, you know a party could be some mingling could be some celebration and once again you will have opportunity to talk with this person and you need to set this, you know, things, you know, straight up, you know, what we are going to do. Probably this is, if you're a woman, probably this is a man asking you, you know, why are you avoiding me? I can see you are avoiding me. Okay, so let me see advice for this approach. King of Cups. Wow. King of Cups is extremely good tarot card, but also this could be completely another person. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So, my dear Libras, what you want and above all, with whom you want to be, you need to make a decision. Obviously, two people are interested into you. And if you are a man Libra, the storyline is the same. You know, you need to make decision. You need to choose. And with the whip to a sword, it's ain't going to be easy to choose. Because on your mind, you know, there is uh, probably, for some of you, there is someone else. Maybe, Libras, you are still stuck in your past. Probably because of this Leo. Now, let me see. By the way, this tarot card is advice tarot card, you know. And I think that you might be a little bit, uh, you know, gentle, tender with you. You demand from you to be a perfect. Nobody is perfect, my dear Libra. Nobody, including you and including me. So, uh, this approach of yours should be a little bit more, let me put it like this, relaxed. Okay? Okay, so external information or external circumstances of your life or what basically you should know. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. 
So this is good foundation. Guys, this is very good tarot card. Nine of Pentacles. Nothing is wrong with Nine of Pentacles. So, uh, okay, maybe only one thing. <laughs> My deliverers. Okay, I can't say this is wrong, but you look very independent, you know. You have your stability. You are beautiful in the physical sense. You have your job. You have your financial security. And, you know, this people these those guys you know it's going to be very hard to approach it's going to be very hard to flirt you know with you because you have um better job or more money or better education or better car or you know whatever you live in a in a better town in a better part of the town whatever this is me only giving you an example you know? so it's going to be very hard you know for them to approach to you also, very easily, in this week, you can meet someone if you're single uh, while you are walking your uh, dog, you know. But also, I can see one colleague is very, very interested into you. Now, let me see next. Your hopes. What you are hoping for. Mm, major kind of justice. This is you saying, you know... I want to be with someone, <clears throat> with someone with whom I can feel, you know, this very special connection, karmic connection, karmic tie, and this is exactly what will happen because major arcana justice is exactly about that. You want to be with the right partner, and by all means, right partner it is. This is what you will get. You want to keep your dignity in your love relationship and you only can allow such a person to enter into your life who will show respect towards you major card of justice is also tarot card of karma law of karma so you simply need this little bit touch that you know it was meant it to be this is basically what you need and you know Probably this is exactly what you will get. And let me see final tarot card. Outcome or possible result. The very last tarot card for this upcoming week, my dear Libras. Wow. Knight of Wands is the very last one. Knight of Wands. So there you go. I don't know. Can you see this one? Okay, let me put it in here. There is no another an, enough space. So Knight of Wands is the outcome. And this is beautiful tarot card because this is very active tarot card. This is excellent for business. This is excellent for new project. This is excellent for falling in love. This is Leo Sage or Aries. This could be your current partner, you know. Maybe this is you watching, you know, people all over the world, you know, saying, oh, poor people, you know, uh, because you know it's very hard to find a good job, a good a stable partner maybe you are already you know attached to someone who is like crazy over you if this is the case the scenario with you this is you talking with your partner you know poor people it's so hard you know to find good loving partner thank you god you know i have this person next to me uh, but if you're single my deliverers by some miracle you will meet and this is probably some party could be after work party, could be in your favorite shop, could be in a restaurant, could be you celebrating something with your friends or siblings. So this person, Leo Sage or Eris, somehow will pop up in front of you. And this is the law of karma. From the very first, you know, meeting of your eyes, you will know. And then you will say to yourself, you know, and to your friends, I knew it. From the very first moment, you know, he is the one. So there you go, Libras. You cannot complain about this first week in the month of December 2018. If you want to hear your private story, then simply book a private reading with me. It's easy. In the meantime, make sure to subscribe on my channel, like and share this video with your friends. God bless you all.